Changing the oil and filter in a 2018 Toyota RAV4 with a four-cylinder non-turbo engine. The recommended oil viscosity is SAE020 and the capacity with filter is 4.6 quarts or 4.4 liters. Going to be replacing the crush washer using a three-quarter inch torque wrench, three-quarter inch ratchet, short extension, 14 millimeter socket, five quarts of 020 full synthetic oil, and I have a mark at the half quart mark. So when I hit that mark, I will have added four and a half quarts. Fram CH9972 filter element, a Motivex Tools MX2320. This is to remove the oil filter cartridge or the oil filter housing, whatever you want to call it. And with that, you can either use a 24 millimeter socket or a 3 8 ratchet, or in this case, an extension will fit on top and that's how I'm going to be using it. I'm doing this oil change without jacking up the car and straight ahead is the passenger side front tire just to give you an idea of where I'm at and right there is the oil pan oil pan drain plugs right here and the oil filter is right there. So just to the right of the passenger side front tire. First thing to do is put a catch pan underneath that drain bolt then get your 14 millimeter socket break that bolt loose and if your engine is hot, be careful because the oil is going to be hot. And mine is not hot, but it is warm. I'm going to take this metallic piece out of the center of the oil filter cartridge. So that extension fits right into that piece. Removing this gives us access to a small drain port. And we're going to screw in a plastic adapter that came with the filter. Doing this will drain most of the oil out of the cartridge just to make it less of a mess when you take that cartridge off. So now this plastic piece just screws in and that opens up a drain valve. There's another style that just pushes up in there and I like that style better, but this one screws in. Yeah, that's kind of aggravating. Let me get some pliers. There we go. All right, we're down to a drip, so I'm gonna take this valve out and then we'll remove this cartridge. Now the Motivex 2320 fits right over the end of that cartridge. And this style wrench that fits on the bottom removes the risk of the other type that slides up higher because you can break off some fins at the top of the cartridge. I'll show you that in a second and see it slides right off. So now the cartridge should come out with very little oil leakage, hopefully. Yeah, if I hadn't drained it at the bottom, oil would be pouring out right now all over my hand. So now with the filter cartridge out, we can remove the old filter and the old O-ring, and there's a spot right here. There's a little notch cut in the plastic. You can get your fingernail in and remove that O-ring and make a point to remember where that O-ring was. It was in the last groove, this widest groove. That's where the old one was. That's where we want to put the new one. If we hadn't used the adapter to drain it first, this is everything that would have poured out. So we get the new O-ring, fit it over and slide it down to that widest groove right there, right where the old one was. And my hands are oily, which is putting a film of oil on the outside of the o-ring that's what you want now compare the size of the new filter with the old filter and they match so we slide that new filter on and the other o-ring this is the old one goes right in there again i'm getting a little bit of oil on it and then we'll put this metal cap back on don't want to make it too tight because we don't want to make it difficult to take off the next time this o-ring replaced, this o-ring replaced, new filter in, cartridge is ready to go back on the car. I'm going to take a rag, just wipe it down a little bit, wipe around where that housing is going to go in. I don't know that that's necessary, but that's what I did. And now the new housing goes in. Oh, hold on. I didn't show you those fins. Hang on. On the oil filter cartridge, these little fins that stick out, there are wrenches that slide up and they engage with those fins. But if you do a little research, you'll see examples from people, complaints saying that that type of wrench can break off the fins and can crack the housing. That's why I went with this style, the Motivex Tools MX2320. It just fits on the bottom, does not engage with the fins at all. And as you saw earlier, it slides on easily and off easily. Prior to buying that Motive X tool, this is the cheap adapter that I used to use. And this would get stuck at the bottom and it's kind of stuck now. 
Many times I had to pry this off. You can see the scratches in the metal. So I do not use this anymore. This is what I use and I have three cars. I have a Lexus and two RAV4s and this wrench fits on all of those cartridges. Now let's get this back on the car. I have the oil filter cartridge back in hand tight and I have my torque wrench set to 18 foot pounds. Oh, which is right there. So this does not get tightened up very much at all. And that's going by the book, 18 foot pounds. Now we can put the oil drain plug back in. Earlier when I took the drain bolt out, the drain plug, the crush washer stayed stuck to the oil pan and I did not notice that so I didn't point it out then. But that is something you need to watch out for because if you put a new crush washer on that bolt and you double them up, then you're probably gonna have a leak right here. So I need to get that one off. I'm gonna try to carefully pry it off with a screwdriver. Watch out for that. You do not wanna double up those washers. So now here's the new crush washer. And I'm gonna to torque this down to 30 foot pounds. Now we're done with the filter and the drain bolt. We can add the oil up top. That's right at that half quart mark, meaning I'll put about four and a half in. So I'm gonna crank it up, let it run for a while, and then shut it off, let it sit, and then check the oil level. After I put the oil filler cap back on, don't forget that. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and we're good. We are right at the full mark. Now to reset the vehicle maintenance light, I do not have my foot on the brake. I'm gonna press the button twice and I'm probably gonna get stuck on a power on screen. So this little half circle arrow pointing back to the left, that's what I hit. And that brought me to this screen. And now at this point, I'm hitting the down arrow a couple of times. Oh, see, I lost it. Went away. I got to do it quicker. There's that screen back. I come down. Vehicle settings. Now I'm going to hit the center button. Schedule maintenance is already highlighted. So I'm going to hit the center button again. Reset data. It's on no. I want to go up to yes. And now hit the center button and the data has been reset. So if you're having the problem I had being stuck on that screen, the power on screen, hitting this button got me to the screen so that I could find settings and then vehicle settings and reset the maintenance. So that's how I was able to do it. Down below, there'll be a link to the page where I bought this Motive X Tool MX2320. This is advertised to fit any and all Lexus and Toyota oil filter cartridges or oil filter housings, whatever you want to call it. Lifetime warranty made in America. So that link will be below. And I'll also put a link to the crush washers for the oil drain bolt.